Yeah. I put a little bit of Timothy hay in there and Opa likes it. Opa likes it, so she's chewing on that, which is good. It's hard for us to get hay right now. We're still trying to look for it, but I had some Timothy hay because we have some other animals in the house, so she loves it. So I only have a little bit in there right now, and Winchester is hiding behind her. <laughs> so me a little treat for her. You talking to Opal? Opal. Yeah. You, know, you want Opal to come here? She's eating a snack. Snack? Yeah, she's going to eat snacks. So I don't know if she wants to come by you. Eh? Yeah. Eh? What? Is she eating the hay? Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? Um. 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 Two. Um. Yeah, we got some water in there. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, water. She had her bottle. Now she's getting a little bit of hay. Mama will have to put some by Winchester to see if he'll eat some. Sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping? Yeah. Yeah. Guess the sleeping. Mm hmm Winchester's sleeping. Double, double, sleeping. Yeah, Winchester's sleeping. Oh, Opa wants to say hi. Hi. Put your hand by its mouth. Go like this. So that she knows what you smell like. Go like that. Oh, she likes that. Yeah, she wants to come out, I think, and see everybody. She's just kind of discovering so everything. Right? You? Yep, they smell you so they know who you are. Everybody has a different <gasps> smell. Mommy, mommy. Yeah, he sm she smell you. <laughs> mommy! 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 It smells, she smelled you? Mommy! Yeah. Mommy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cleaning its body, oh isn't it? Body. She scaled one. That's all. So we had two times already where Opal, like, stopped in her track. Okay, shush. Ouch. Two yeah. times that Opal stopped in her tracks when I was trying to get her. And uh, she kind of collapsed a little bit. But I'm sure when she's outside, we'll see Mama, what she does. But My she is. Shh, listen, she is a fainting goat, this one is. so. And the little black one is a Nigerian Mom. dwarf. Shh. Yeah. She likes that Timothy hay. I got. I just fed them guys, and now they're kind of questioning if they want to come out or not. Come on, Opal. Want to come out? Before, she wouldn't even, like, come up to my hand, so now she's just kind of discovering us, right? Come on, you want to come out too? Oh, you want to be playful? You want to be playful, Winchester? You trying to play? You guys want to come out and play? Come on. Come on, play. Come on. Come on out. You guys want to come out? Come here. Come on out. You going to come? I'm thinking about it. Come out. Come on. Are you still scared? Oh, he's out. You want to go back in? And like, come out here. Yeah. I don't know. What are you chewing on, huh? We just got some straw in there right now, so. Opal, are you confused? Hmm? You confused? Oh, you want to back away. What are you thinking? 
Right, you're thinking about it. All right, well, Opal's going to eat right now. He had, she had a little bit, but she thinks she can gnaw on my fingers. Right, Opal? I'll show you guys. Hi, Opal feeding again. This is her second bottle today. She's doing pretty good with just grabbing on now. And before, I had to, like, pry her mouth open to get her to take it. So... She's doing really good. I have Winchester down here trying to get out. That's why he's wanting to get out, but we have him in the crate right now. We're gonna feed Opal quick. And she is just chugging it down. So right now this is about nine ounces of milk for her. And then that's all she gets until her next feeding. Right, Opal? And she's doing really good. She came out of the cage for me. She kind of like snuggled up against uh, my chin and tried um, like licking my chin and stuff like that, showing like she's happy. So that's it. She, she drank all her nine ounces. And one of the things that I read too with uh, little baby goats is that um, you feed them till they are just in like just their amount that they need to eat. You don't want to overfeed them. Otherwise they get sick. So we gave her just the recommended amount for right now. And then we'll keep going up a little bit. Yeah. See, she like, yeah, yeah. Oh, nibbles, nibbles. Oh, you're so happy. Oh, I'm glad I got that on video. There. See, she's so happy. Yeah. Ow, ow. You almost got out. Yeah, you want more, don't you? You want more. The kids were joking that we should give her a little nookie, right? Yeah, you, you're so happy. So at first when we got her, she was still kind of like um, shy and didn't really want to. She's shaking a little bit right now because they get really nervous, I think. But um, right now she just more or less want to snuggle up. And I know you want more milk, don't you? So I'm just let her chew on my face. I'll eventually give her more and more milk. I know you want to say hi, don't you? Here for a little bit. But, um, so we'll eventually give her more and more milk. I know you want to say hi, don't you? We got to get Winchester out. Can we get Winchester out? Well, right now it's feeding time. So I'm going to try to attempt to uh, give Winchester another bottle and see how he does this time. So this is going to be, I think my third or fourth bottle with him. And we're just gonna see if it improved and if he um, adapts well to it right now. So we're gonna do that. He is a little bit more of a messy eater than she is. Um, but that's why I kind of keep these rags next to me just so they don't get all over the place. So we're gonna, yep. I have a little bit less um, for him just because he is a smaller goat size and uh, he doesn't drink as much as she does. Yeah, so we, it's harder with him. Yeah, you wanna fight it, don't you? Yeah, you leave her in there. So he doesn't like it very much, but yeah. Just, yeah. Oh. I gotta hold them a little bit better. They're, they're, even though they're tiny, they're still kind of feisty. So he wants to fight me. Okay, so. Another thing with him is he likes to grind his teeth a lot when he eats. So we're still trying to um, figure all that out yet too. So, cause they don't, we don't really want them to do that. But um, with them being so little yet, they still need to have their milk. So we have to make them have it. So I only give him a little bit at a time just because I don't want him to choke on it. He has a harder time with it. I do, or I might have to get a different bottle top um, 
just to see if he'll take it a little bit different. So, oh, Winchester just woke up, but otherwise they're taking a nap in there. We have them in like a bigger dog crate right now because they're so tiny. And they kind of got to stay by us for a little bit. So we got some water in there and some other stuff in there for them. And so this is our second day. So a videotape for you guys, like our second day and then our week of having them. And they're just kind of snuggling with each other. So another thing with them is they still have their umbilical cord a little bit. And that'll probably eventually fall off. But I'm still learning as I go too. So this is only our second day and them two are snuggling so cutely. So when they wake up, they'll probably have another bottle. And then I will share with you guys what I'm doing with that and then trying to keep up with their schedule. Um, but with them being two weeks old, they're not on, uh, uh, their bottle feedings aren't as um, much. So, Usually, um, that I read when they're like a week old, they have to have so many bottles in a day. And right now they're at like four bottles a day. And then I started writing that down. So I'll kind of share with you guys what I'm probably going to do, um, that I have read and learned from other people that have goats. So that's what we're going to do for right now. But I just wanted to share how cute it is that they're sleeping in there. So Winchester's laying on top of um, Opal right now. So. All right, well, we'll continue to tape today and share our experience uh, with you guys our first week having goats. So I thought that would be fun for you guys to see that and then when it gets nicer outside we'll bring them out and they can jump about and stuff and then we'll share with you guys our ducks and chickens because we transfer them to a coop now so we'll share with you that also so but for right now we'll let them sleep okay so here is opal right opal huh you want to come out come on come on out Come on out, Winchester. What are you nibbling on? Huh? You like the blanket? Wanna come out? I'm standing here so they don't want to come out yet. They get in trouble if I let them out. This is the bottle that we use. This is what we were told to use. And then this is, uh, we got this at the tractor supply place. So with him, I might have to get something a little different just because he's having a hard time. Um, with drinking right now so I might have to get something a little smaller but this is, this is what we're doing and then we have our milk mix in here that we were told to use until I got him to take it and he has a little bit of a nose issue right now so he has a little bit of problem drinking it right now but he's doing better than he did yesterday so then I give him a little bit of a break so he can swallow it and then you got to kind of pry open their mouth and then they take it. So I wish I could. There you go. You guys can see a little bit better. So he's got milk all over the place. So he's doing better than he did before. But he still needs to drink. Otherwise, he's not going to. He has to at least get something in him. So hopefully you guys can see 
that he is drinking it. But they were only on their mama, so... We just got to at least get something in them. There we go. And I don't try to put it all the way in his mouth because I don't want him to choke on it either. So he is taking it. If you guys can, you can kind of see, I guess. So he's doing really good right now. This is the third time that I offered... Oh. This is the third time I offered him a bottle, so this is the best that he's done so far. And we're only going little bit by little bit because he's a little guy. So today is our second day with our goats and this is Opal and, and Miles is holding Opal Winchester. and Winchester Lachlan is holding Winchester. Oh, you sneezers. That's Winchester. Opal's all comfy cozy. We're gonna try to give this little guy some more milk. They haven't been on a bottle, so we're still trying to get these guys to drink a little bit better. The last two, the last two, um, yesterday and today, um, she like chugged. Yeah, hers. she's doing good. Yeah. This little guy needs more help with the bottle. Those new, uh, those, uh, little, uh, yellow on red thing right there. Yeah, I know. That's his. It's the one that I gotta feed it. So, we're gonna do that. We just opened the garage door, so Opal's being curious right now. I have a feeling we might be running after a goat in the rain. Uh -oh. You guys... I know. I'll get her. They feel the fresh air. She'll come out. <laughs> Where are you going, Opal? You guys feel the fresh air, don't you? Does that make you happy? What you doing down there? Come on, what you doing? Oh, you like that breeze? You like that fresh air? Still waiting. Yeah. Can you use bosses? Oh. Yeah. After can I talk? Sure. Still waiting. And then I'll try it on Winchester. I'm gonna probably do both of them. No. <laughs> so we got a little spot right here. He's combing uh, opal. Oh, after can I do the other one? Hudson does fast. Well, after can I do the other one? I think they like it. Mm -hmm. Back. Oh. This is the third day. I have to feed these guys. Are you guys hungry? Are you chewing on some hay? Should we get you out and feed you? Yeah. I know. You want to climb around, don't you? You want to have fun? Yeah, you were having fun, weren't you? should have caught her plane before she was going from chair to chair. That was cute. 
not. She's all playful back there. She just wants to jump around now. This is the first time, or maybe second time I saw Winchester eating the hay. So that's good for him, and he's doing better. Bottle feeding is still kind of eh, but at least he's getting something. Oh, Paul, you want to play? Trying to get at the hay, or what are you doing? When it gets nicer out, we can bring them outside and they can play around, but it's raining again today. I'm gonna be silly, huh, Opa? You being silly? So she does good. It's Winchester that we have the problem with. This is day three, third morning. I put a little bit more milk in her bottle this time. A break. Miles is helping out. Taking a break. Okay, put it up. Up. All right. Taking that little break. Right, he's doing better this time. He can only do a little bit at a time. He gets kind of, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you guys the last feeding of the night. So this is gonna be their fourth feeding and Opal's already ready. Are you ready, Winchester? You want yours? Huh? Opal's always ready. So when I was feeding them, um, Earlier in the video, you guys saw that Opal, I still need to open her mouth and um, get her to take the bottle. But I'm going to show you guys now that I don't need to hold her anymore. That I just, um, they'll come by me and Opal will automatically um, take it. So I just sit here and let her drink and then Winchester just has to wait because he doesn't take the bottle as good as she does so yeah you're waiting for yours too huh winchester i know he's like, what he's trying to jump on me you're trying to jump on me you happy so this is um it's like 9 30 right now so this is gonna be their last feeding until tomorrow morning and so far that's been working out good with that schedule so that's what we're doing. And once in a while, Opal will like, there you go. She'll pull off and then she'll just take a break. Um, I'm hoping that eventually, <laughs> Winchester, oh my goodness. Okay. There. Yeah, you waiting for your bottle. That's so funny. Um, that's the first time that he's ever did that to me. So that's like a really good sign. Um, and Remember, I'm all new to this, so that's a really good sign that he is ready to eat off the bottle without me having to force it in his mouth. Um, so he's waiting for his. So let's see if Winchester will. Um, oh, Opal's trying to take Winchester. So you still want more, huh? Or are you saying hi? You want more? So she. I tried going up to like nine ounces with her and um, she wasn't taking it off. So we're still at eight ounces with her and we are on, I think it's like day, what is it? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, like almost three days. Okay, Winchester, should we try it? Come on, where'd you go? Winchester, Winchester. 
Jester. Okay. So I have to call him over here because, come on. Here's your pato. Here's your pato. So we're just going to see if he is going to take it. Okay. Wow. So that is the first time that he took it without me having to force feed him. This is awesome. I'm glad I got it on video for you guys to see. This is perfect. Now he's only drinking, like I only put an ounce in his bottle. And um, this is perfect. So I'm glad I got to catch it. I'll have to show the kids cause they're all in bed right now. So this is really cute. Good job Winchester. You were ready to eat, weren't you? Awesome. Okay. So with him wanting to suck on my fingers like that, that was, uh, like I said, you know, I'm all new to this, but um, from what I read, that's pretty good for them to wanna suck on your hands. It kind of just shows that they're ready and they have that under, yeah that they have that understanding that they want to um, drink. Um, so that's pretty good. You want some more? Huh? You want some more? What is that? Yeah, you ready? So let's see. You done or ready? That was pretty good. That was pretty impressive. Oh, good job, Winchester. So we'll see how he does in the morning. Um, with him taking it like this, I'm thinking that tomorrow he'll just grab. That's pretty good. Here, you want some more? I think what they're catching on to is I'm trying to do a schedule where when they come out of the cage, they get a bottle automatically. Um, and I haven't been doing anything different than that. So they usually don't come out of the cage unless I give them a bottle. So that's like so many hours right now. And then eventually they'll be in like a little barn or shed that they can um, go in and we will, um, they'll be able to play around. Hey. But right now, um, we want them to stay in here just because then I have more time with them to feed them. So he wants to be playful right now and he tried fucking me right now. So that was kind of funny. Good job, Winchester. Wow, that's three times now that he grabbed onto it. So it's awesome. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
today we put on the collars because we are going to be going outside. So this is going to be our first time um, taking these guys outside. And Winchester's you can't really see because we put a black one on him. But his name tag and everything is on there. And then Opal has hers on too. So we're going to put them on a leash, like a little lead, and teach them to stay by us. But this will be our first time going outside so and she always they always go in there when they try to hide yeah they try to hide in here so that's this is opals opals and then her little name tag is on here so we're gonna put them on a lead and then bring them outside we gotta clean out their cage and stuff so what does that, say? that has their name on it oh I'll watch Opal. What's going on, Opals? You like it outside? A little bit of fresh air? Yeah? What's that noise? You like it outside? He's on the grass. Yeah? Wherever you go, Hudson, don't go far because I don't want to catch her. Like it outside? Ah. Oh, Opal, you starting to bounce around? You excited? You guys like it? You can probably like go just stay near, stay very close. You're loud. What are you making all this sound for? Don't go past the trees, Gage. Just stay here. She's gonna be tired. Take a turn. Now go run. Run! 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 Run